Hey, welcome, welcome back. Welcome back to another day like Oh boy. I ain't know what they got playing for me today. They ain't never give that to me on this empty trailer. Had a lock on the door. So I'm gonna wake it up. It's about what, 11, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock Eastern time. I'm back. I'm about to get on up out of here. All the car hauls, they were gone. I figured they'd be gone. Three of them right there. They probably following each other. Hanson and Atkinson. We about to get on up out of here. Go on down here and see what they got, got for me. Supposed to be going to Colorado. We're supposed to take another trip to Atlanta. I don't know. Oh, it's a little warm out here today. See what they got for me to do. I go ahead and see if they got this trailer in. I 
need some shade. Let's see if I can find some shade at.
see the right hand turn. Hey, you gonna run that trailer into something? It's gonna be when you making a right hand turn. Cause then you start to turn, if you don't turn wide enough, I see him drop the whole trailer in the ditch. Going into a driveway or something. This is his first trailer right here. It's 532628. That's the one I bought back. That's the one I went and got loaded.
tell when it don't have a trailer or if it's loaded or heavy is it'll start to skip gears so like see it's in 12 gear right now but it didn't shift 12 times just now
be uh, some kind of place that's 24 7. Uh, you more than likely it's gonna be food though. And so, doing all those crazy, I just got over. I went to the Travis Stock Road. I was crazy out then. The thing is about food. Now you dealing with them food loads. I'll tell you the difference between food and, and freight that I noticed. That food, man, they got to receive every single thing on the truck. And I say every single thing. It's, so what I I, I, I worked in a, a distribution center before I started driving trucks. So I kind of knew how the, how the stuff worked. I know like, hey, hey you're going to receive the whole truck. And so what I used to do is if I took a food load because it was paying good. You know, usually after, I, you know, you, 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 after you book it, then you get all the details as far as You don't get all the details till you pick it up because you get your paperwork. So when I used to get my paperwork, hopefully I'd be picking up at, at a place that only had like one item. Like I pick up a place that all they got is toilet tissue. So it's a load of toilet tissue. So it's simple to receive. But you go pick up a place that got 50 million items, let's say on your truck, you got 3,000 cartons. Man, you might have 200 items. It's gonna take you. It's gonna take them a long time to receive. That's why they got those lumber services that you gotta pay. It's gonna take them a long time to receive. But if you got three thousand cartons and you got ten items, then that means you got both pallets. I mean, by both pallets, I mean a lot of your pallets is all the same item. It ain't gonna take long to receive that. You can be able to, more than likely it's gonna be separated by pallets if. You got to, uh, if they're going to receive it, it's already going to be separated. All you got to do is to unstack the pallets. So, that food. Uh, I can do without doing that food.
still be looking like. It's coming from me, you see. You coming up a million scene. We might have a little house full tonight. You know, they had some kind of baseball tournament. Everything around right? here been sold out. For the day, a little short vlog I ain't did, man. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to my notifications. Sorry about that. Click that bell. Yeah, I'll let you know every time I post. You can find me at Life with Kev on Facebook. You can find me at Life underscore with underscore Kev underscore on Instagram. Today, yeah.